Warning, the following methods are not legal as per the stellar agreement between Type 2 and Type 3 civilizations, signed AD 2256. If at all you have been caught making a black hole without a license, this video isn't responsible for the punishments under the same laws, which includes exile to the isolated planet. Use at your own risk. And please, don't try this at our home planet. Natural black holes form by the collapse of supermassive stars under their own gravity. We know that even though there are millions of stars in the universe, waiting for one to collapse isn't a practical approach for one's day-to-day -day needs. But fret not, because this recipe would get you the black hole you wanted in the fastest time possible. You will need one rogue planet, a planet which is not gravitationally bound to a star, one Class S terraformer with the latest Kramer arms, available at the nearest SpaceX outlet, 200,000 cups of patience and salt. You always need salt. Procedure. This procedure takes a lot of patience. So use those cups of patience as needed. First, you need to travel to the rogue planet you illegally claimed for yourself. This would be easy with the Class S terraformer you stole from SpaceX. Once you're at a safe distance from the to be black hole, you should initiate the procedure for compressing the planet at hand. Bring out that strong Kramer arm attached to the spaceship. This is where you wait. Depending on the size of the planet, the time would vary. It usually only takes two to three hours to compress Earth-sized planets with the latest Kramer arms. During this time, feel free to use the salt to heal the wounds from your emotional scarring caused by the pathetic life you had back home. After a few hours, you have your own black hole. What you do with it is completely at your discretion. Why this works? Any object can become a black hole as long as its mass is concentrated enough to bend space to the point where not even light can escape its gravity. This is defined by the Schwarzschild radius. This radius depends only on the mass of the object, in our case, the rogue planet. For an Earth-sized planet with the same mass of Earth, the radius to be a black hole is 9 millimeters. So, if you compress the planet to about a sphere of 9 millimeter radius, it starts eating matter and behaves like a black hole. Jokes apart, humans have actually tried to create black holes in the laboratory. A physicist at the Technion Israel Institute of Technology in Haifa, named Jeff Steinhauer, used a collection of rubidium atoms that was cooled down to near absolute zero temperatures to create something that behaves as a single fluid quantum object and so can be easily manipulated. He manipulated this fluid to flow faster than the speed of sound. Doing so trapped the sound waves traveling opposite to the flow and thus creating a stand-in for the gravitational event horizon of a black hole. When particles are accelerated, they gain mass, based on E equals mc squared. When two protons are accelerated, their gain of mass subsequently results in the bending of space around them. When they collide, a sufficiently high concentration of mass results, which creates a miniature black hole. That being said, Compression of objects down to their Schwarzschild radius isn't practical with the current technology that we have. If we do create black holes, we can use them for various purposes, one being used for generating huge amounts of energy. Black holes have only one ingredient, mass. It is mass that bends space to an extent that even light cannot escape. Natural black holes form because of their high mass at the time of collapse under their own gravity. To make one, you should somehow be able to compress something to its Schwarzschild radius or add mass to an existing star or planet until it collapses under its own gravity, which isn't feasible. Are you still figuring out how to create one? You may be interested in our new product, Insta Black Hole. You just need to subscribe and share this video and smash that like button until it compresses down to its Schwarzschild radius. We'll be back with another interesting video very soon. Until then, Stay happy and curious.